Hey boys, it's been raining for days and days, but it's finally starting to let up, but way too wet to do anything, so I've been um, taking the chance I have to boil down to some more detail on what I want to accomplish for the end goal. So this is just a bunch of sketches, but somewhere in here, <clears throat> I have a couple examples of um, wh what I might wind up doing. It's really hard to make up my mind at this point, but this example is if the main portion of the house were on a crawl space and uh, a few rows up of uh, cinder block and then the house sits on that this would be considered an addition and would sit on a, uh, a solid concrete slab so just for example you maybe were walking through the hall and when you enter the main living room here you would just step down about two steps into the room. Same thing with upstairs. And this is going to be the bonus room, I guess you would call it. Uh, just a big room with uh, open rafter ties and uh, a cathedral ceiling. The next example, the one I like better, but is a lot pricier, to have the whole thing sit on one concrete slab. Um, buku bucks, but I think I would definitely like that better. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that all the plumbing has to be 100% and permanent under the slab, so that you have to have all that done. Really, you know, I'm, I'm kind of looking to get framed up, get the roof on, and then work from the outside in. Because I just want to get in it. So as you know, I'm, I'm in this little tiny house. So there will be a lot more time to do the whole slab and all the plumbing underneath. Everything has to be picture perfect before you pour the slab, and then the slab itself is a little, you know, a lot of work. You have to set up all the forms and everything, dig all the trenches, compact all the stone. So anyway, um, this is the front door, as you can see. So if you walk in the front door, you would be like, this would be the kitchen area. Um, down on the first floor is a, a big, bad old wood stove. Um, with a blower fan on it that would spread through the entire house and I'll show you how I had that worked out just an opening that goes up and this is actually a representation of the wood stove pipe the flange on the roof that the wood, the wood stove pipe goes through the roof up here is the master bedroom and I wanted the kitchen in front I wanted the master bedroom in front and those were the two things that were most important to me and I guess for security lookout purposes just I don't know it's just I'm just one of those people I guess so uh, there's another bedroom in the back there's Nash out in the yard um, here's the big bonus room hey come on boy I'm busy here's a big bonus room and underneath is the main living room but here I have shown um, where is actually a screened in porch that's uh, built into the, I think it would be uh, 10 by 20 if I remember correctly. I had the floor plans already, so I'm going to take them down to uh, the lumber yard and they're going to get me a whole materials list for me. Save me a lot of time. Here, just like we looked at on the first floor, walk in the first floor. Here's the kitchen in the front, set of stairs in the middle. Um, here's the pantry. You keep all your you know your dry foods and so on the, the fridge this is all underneath um, the stairs and underneath uh, you know, just the partition wall as a mechanical room the water heater washer dryer fuse box um, this is a half bath all the way in the back <coughs> here's the wood stove on the first floor where it'll be located and the pipe will actually come up through the second floor and then through the roof. So you would walk through, here's a little study, and could be an optional um, uh, first floor bedroom. Like this This could easily turn out to be the, uh, the master bedroom on the first floor and the other two bedrooms on the second floor. If someone wanted to just remodel it a little someday, or maybe I might, who knows. But for now, that's the study. And um, then, the, like the main living room slash great room, I, I have a problem calling it a great room because it's really not a high ceiling. 
I don't think that's a qualification to be a great room, but in any case, it's a big living room. And here's the doorway. You would, you would walk out to the uh, screen porch. If you remember where I... Here's the screen porch in the front. And that's the screen porch right there in the front. And then you uh, take the stairs on up to the second floor. Now here we are on the second floor. Um, right ahead is the uh, the main bathroom. Um, sink, your toilet, and it's going to have a nice big wash and uh, walk-in shower. And uh, here's a little hallway closet. Um, here's the master bedroom. <coughs> and um, the door that leads out to the second floor deck. So the master bedroom will have uh, its own deck access. This is all open. So uh, if you remember what I like, I said that this this wood stove right here is down on the first floor. The pipe comes all the way up through the second floor, through this completely open space here, and then through the roof. Um, these both these bedrooms have closets, of course. And there would just be like a railing banister here where you could just look over down to the first floor. And um, this is the upstairs bonus room. This is the room that has the cathedral ceiling, the uh, open ceiling joists or roof rafters, whichever you want to call them. And right here I'm kind of undecided. This is, um, this could even actually be like a spare bedroom. It could be storage, but basically it's space in the front, um, over top of where the screen room is. Um, and I think that's about it, and that pretty much wraps up the whole house. So one, two bedrooms upstairs, open space, So and uh, oh, the wood stove. So that's what the open space is a big part of. Um, this isn't going to be a door to go from the study. To the living room so the main portion of the house I'm trying to keep it as open open as possible so this is going to be like a wide entryway it's not going to be a door or anything closed in and the wood stove placed here with a fan blower um, can kind of circulate so it, it should should circulate really well it's even I haven't even have a throughway in the back so the air can circulate circulate the, the best I can make out of it anyway and then that's the first floor the heat circulating and of course it's going to rise up through the opening to the second floor and basically if you want your room to be warm then uh, I guess I'll just have to leave my door open or something <laughs> it should work out pretty well um, it's well insulated um, you know if not then I'll have a, a central air unit to back me up and that's pretty much it. That wraps it up. It's not it's not a house designed for beauty. Not it's, there's nothing uh, there's no aesthetics about it that I think are really jumping out or anything. It's it's pretty bland. Uh, it's just all utility, if you know what I mean. It's just for all all for purpose. And um, just to have a room or a thing or a place where I want it. But it's okay. It'll be a house. Then you'll be out to visit me here shortly, and uh, you know, let's hope things dry up here for the fall and maybe the rain will hold off. Well, until then, Sayonara.